Good morning, folks. We have several items to hit here today. The sun had a pretty solid uptick in solar flaring. We'll look at a gorgeous CME, new sunspots, and more on that front. We also have terrific articles that hit on both solar climate forcing and the ongoing magnetic pole shift, but from one of the best perspectives I've seen in years. We're starting with our star, and we had flaring in the northern groups and the south incoming. We are without major coronal holes facing Earth at this time, but we're still in the elevated solar wind from the last one. The most impressive plasma motion of the last day was on the incoming limb, where one of the M-class flares released an amazing display as a CME was sent out, part of it falling back down into the corona. You can see here the phenomenal one-day surge in M-class flaring events, peaking at M6, and we can watch those flares and identify their locations via flashes of brightness here in 131 angstroms. Northern sunspots produce the most of them. And we can see their continued development here, especially in the northernmost group, spreading and growth with additional umbra appearing. We also have eyes incoming on the south. That is a big one, and fairly complex from the looks of it here. Let's go to an amazing paper next showing the relationship between the solar wind and severe flooding events. Correlation with 91% proficiency and predictability, the tie between the upper level and the lower troposphere. This not only puts modern weather and climate into a solar forcing perspective, but makes us think about the more severe events we've got coming as the sun delivers higher and higher impacts. Top story today comes out of Stanford, where it begins by explaining why dynamo theory doesn't really work so well here on Earth, and it really doesn't work on the other planets in our solar system. But by using a superconductor model, the sun's magnetic field actually induces ours and is responsible for magnetic reversals which is 100% on point with where our catastrophism science falls. While it doesn't discuss the galactic influence in this model, it's rudimentary to extend. Exterior source, reversals explained, questions answered, boom. Be sure to grab tickets to one of our upcoming events. Link is below in the description box. Watch the Earth Disaster Playlist, also linked for you below, to get caught up on the science of Earth's ongoing magnetic pole shift. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.